Hello and welcome to Southern RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're in New World Eternum for the first day in their complete rebuild slash restructure of the entire MMO itself. I remember back in the day I really really loved this game. It went, I, I played it all the way to like for, for months and months and months and got to the end game. We had a really really strong PvP guild. Um, I just wanted to try to see if the, the early game and a lot of the earlier stuff are still as good as it was. But we're gonna go through and we're gonna check everything, see if anything's changed at the beginning. Just shut up for this video, to be honest. I don't like it. Sailing to an uncharted island with strange folk aboard. Keep your voice down. There's some of the captain to hear you. That ain't the captain I'm worried about. It's our priest. If he's a man of the cloth, I'm the Virgin Mary. All you seek will soon be yours, Captain. It is indeed the island of legend. So you say, if you're wrong, the price of the voyage will be paid in blood. Yours. And those vagabonds you brought along. They merely seek adventure, Captain. The island calls to those who forge their own destiny. That was pretty cool. I don't even I don't remember that being in the original game, to be honest. I'm pretty sure what we had in the original was them sitting at a table explaining some stuff to each other, but it has been a long time. I'm just curious to see if the starting of the game has changed at all, like the, the entry of the game, because for me, that's the most important thing, making sure that you they, like you enjoy the beginning of the game keeps you going. If you don't like, what the hell are these guys doing? Oh shit, this is all changed. I think the, the music is a little bit loud, so we're going to turn that down because that was really loud, I think. I think we're okay now. Yeah, I think we're okay now. I just had to change the setting there real quick. So it starts off with a soldier, which is a uh, standard sword and shield with, it looks like a hatchet. We have the two-handed, look, look at that, that's cool as shit. Actually, that's pretty damn cool to be fair. Uh, which, they come with trade skills, different trade skills. Weaponsmithing, mining, and smelting, that's really cool. Um, armoring, uh, skinning, and so this is the more like huntery type stuff to make all of your um, like armors and stuff like that. We have the ranger, which is bow and spear. Rapier and uh, the musket was actually a really good, really good back in the day. We got the occultist, which is the frost scorpion and the fire staff. We have the mystic, which is a healing stuff. This is the one I'm going by the way because I I always play a healer and I love. Uh, the healing stuff and all that and then you have the sword breaker which is the damage slash tank which is the two-handed great sword and the shotgunny type blunderbussy type thing but what thing does it have it arcana harvesting and weaving okay we're going to be going with that we're going to be going now what did it have here smelting mining and jewel crafting so it's just going to be what it starts with a boost to arcana so it's going to start with a boost so we're going to go scholar warrior we'll go into the next part we'll go to body type we'll go to male face uh da, da, da. let's have a quick look at some of these they look for some reason i don't know if it's just me but these faces look a lot better i remember them being janky as hell back in the day they still look a little bit junk to be fair like <laughs> some of these faces are, i suppose that's the most normal looking face we're gonna have to go we're gonna go as white as i am like the whitest of whites which is what the missus calls me the whitest of whiters I got a bald ass head. Bald ass head in there. But I do have hair coming out the back like a bit of a weirdo. I don't think they're going to have that specific hairstyle. Uh, let's have a look. What do you have? That's just a mohawk. That That's okay. That, that, that's as close. <laughs> I'm going to show them it. <laughs> that's the closest I'm going to get to my hair. Being bald as hell. But we'll just we'll just go bald. We'll go bald and beautiful. Uh, facial hair. We do have the longer of beards. I do have a bit of a majestic beard myself. That is absolutely epic. There's a, let's see if they have. We were watching um, Sons of Anarchy, 
And there was this guy with his like this. It had big bloody things coming out of it. Or was it Mayans? It was Mayans MC. It was Mayans MC we were watching. And she was telling me that I needed to grow that specific beard. But we're just going to go full on like that. We are on the not green side. We're on the brown side. Where's the browns at? Probably that one. Yeah, mousy brown. Mousy brown. That's about me. We do have like white blue eyes features we don't want any freckles i don't want any scars i don't like scars on my guys i don't what's that that's kind of cool though uh we'll go for tattoos what tattoos do they have see if there's anything different there's a oh there's an anubis there i do like that a little bit that's pretty cool as well i am covered in tattoos myself but i haven't got any on my face not yet anyway if my missus has anything to do with it i will have them very soon uh let's keep it kind of i don't know whether i want to do tattoos man okay okay that's that's it that's that's me done that's definitely what it is that, that looks like floki now man looks like a badass floki look at that baby that's a bad that doesn't look like me okay maybe it does a little bit yeah it does actually look like me that's bad <laughs> let's go let's put up black we've got a bit of a floki look going on and um, we're gonna keep it like that that actually looks pretty badass i love the look of that let's see if we can get my player name i doubt it i really doubt it no let's try and do that yeah we can get something rpg though but i think it's gonna be i don't think it's gonna be capital letters can we do spaces okay let's try see if it does it world change world EU central will continue entering phoenix doesn't really matter we're just checking out the beginning of the game actually the world is full okay thank you for that uh phoenix and aries is full these are high what Dra draco let's go draco continue and let's get in now draco draco so I used to like because uh, i'm living in spain i'd be draco because they don't know how to pronounce c's properly she's got headphones in i'm safe <laughs> I just heard a laugh in the background. <laughs> right, repute of Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll wait. Uh, we'll wait until we're in the position of the queue. Maybe actually, you know what? Let's get out of here. Leave queue. I'm going to try and get into a different server because like... Oh, does that mean I just lost the whole character or what? No, I didn't lose the whole character. Okay, play. Well, we're going to have to stay in that queue because I picked the bloody world anyway. So we'll have to wait and we'll be right back. So I actually just recreated the character again. I got a pop up. I recreated the character again and put it on a different server because it was on 135 and it wasn't moving for a good while. You lied to me, priest. I warned you the journey would be difficult. You said nothing about sailing through the very gates of hell. Hell is all but inevitable for one such as you. Aldous Thorpe. The island offers something much greater than gold. Redemption. For me, and perhaps even for you. Do not fear the storm, Captain. Faith will see us through. That literally reminded me of the scene in, uh, in uh, Pulp Fiction, when he shows him what's in uh, Wall Wall uh, Wallace's suitcase. Briefcase suitcase.
was a naughty backslap. I normally don't want to talk through his face, but I'm getting a little bit excited. There's my beautiful board ourselves. This has definitely changed. The start has definitely changed. Alright, so we've got, the, we've got the standard, like, drowning people. I, what do you mean? I picked something else. Block, right click. Okay, it's still going to be the same kind of cinematic where it does the cinematic, like, left click, right click, teaching you how to do stuff. Left shift, dodge. And then hold for a heavy attack. Boom. So it's kind of like, um, like this game works really well with uh, con con uh, controllers and stuff like that. Let's uh, just block and bop, bop, bop. It's kind of like action based. So let's get a big hit. Because you can actually just like, oh, okay. Like literally, why did it do that at the last second? Is there, I've forgotten the way to lock onto the targets. There we go, middle mouse button. That's pretty bloody standard, to be honest, in most games. Locking onto middle mouse button. It does look cool, though. Like, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. This is one angry ass Spaniard. Conquistador. Even though he had, like, a not a Spanish accent, he's definitely Spanish. Just literally Conquistador Wear 101. It's like looking at myself. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. But this is a this is a much better start than uh, I landed on a beach, did nothing, don't even know how I got there. Shit just exploded. That was definitely a hell of a lot better. So I give them points for that starting part, and it, it looks it looks as beautiful as I remember. And it's been a few years now. Look at all of that. It does look really nice. Just dash forward while I was swimming. And I'm sure, like, I remember swimming not being a thing. Like, it was, um, do I remember that correctly? Oh, look, there we go. We have our definitely void gauntlet. So we'll stick that in there and we'll stick our healing thing in there. What's this? Mystic's hood. We're going to use it, but can I turn it off? Is there, a, like, a right click or something? Or, like, a... Because it kind of looks horrible, to be fair. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to get this out. We'll just run through here. I forgot that there's no sprint. We have to do the dodge roll stuff. What the hell was that? It looks pretty damn badass. Like, everything looks amazing. This looks absolutely fucking beautiful. Who's this guy? What do you want? Corrupted Legionnaire. Let's get the... Just do a couple of light attacks. This guy's pretty easy, to be fair. I do love the Void Gauntlet. There's a lot of stuff you can do with the Void Gauntlet. Uh, we're going to actually see. So let's have... I, I don't think much of this would have changed. Because they did a really good job in the original game for, like, uh, the, making the weapons and the attacks all pretty decently, like, available for everyone. Like, it was pretty damn good, to be honest. Uh, let's do the Void Blade. That's on, do, do we do Decay? We'll go all but Decay. Uh, successful range attack... 5% mana per successful range basic attack. Okay, we're going to use that. We'll get that first. Because you can get that on the uh, other, on the healing stuff as well. Like, I don't like that hat. Although you start off looking kind of cool. Look at that, though. That looks pretty badass. Oh, okay. Hello. That's the ancient shit. Look at that. What is that down there? It was more realistic in the in the beginning when you're just fighting some boars and stuff like that. And uh, like, I mean, obviously there was the, what's this dude? Let's kill this corruptor legionnaire. Like the healing stuff actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. To be fair, like it really does. It still does as well. Like it's not. What the hell is that? Is there something screening around? Like I don't know about that hat, man. That looks makes me look like a like half an orchid. Right, let's go in and let's have a look. We'll put these on the bar. On the action bar. Um, 
I need to go into K. We'll go into lifestyle. Let's have a look because this is what I spent most of my time on. We didn't use aura protections okay, but I'm definitely going down the healing route because I'm going to be leveling um, during some dungeons and stuff as well. Uh, lifestyle's heavy attacks, 5% max mana when they pass through allies. Okay, so we'll do secret ground first. We'll have that. So we'll have that on there so we can at least use that from the beginning. Okay, that, that was weird. Can we heavy attack you? No, we can't. That would have been nice, though. Some traversal going on here. Lock onto the enemy. Oh, nice. So you can actually lock onto them range now while still... Because sometimes you really want to have it directional. So, like, sometimes you don't want to be... So you want to be between... When you're healing, you're going to have the person in between you because a lot of the stuff with the healing and shit is passed through. So, like, you'll be grounded to like this. We can put this on the ground like that. There are there is an option in the settings, like if you're doing the healing stuff. Uh, settings over here. Uh, settings. It will be under. That's just game self controlling for camera gameplay free. There was a there was a thing that they used to have. a smart cast uh, allows you to use supported aim abilities with a single button input instead of requiring an input aim and input cast. So you can actually have that on to make it a lot easier. It goes on top of the. Pl wow. That's pretty nom noms. I remember that being in the, the game originally as well. I love that part of it. This, I think that's why I liked the, the druid shapeshift of... Uh, I forgot what they're bloody called. The, f the bloody... The chunky humanoid people in World of Warcraft that they just added as a druid part. Look at that. It's still an amazingly beautiful game. They just... They did so many things right and so many things wrong. What the hell is that caution symbol at the top there? What did I do wrong? Felt like I did something wrong there. Let's have, let's open up the world a little bit. Oh, it's just it always was. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying that stuff, but it always was such a beautiful game. Uh, I forgot how to do. It's like, can you do it where you switch weapons with X or not? How did you die? What? Ki oh no! What is it? Let's try and unlock this guy. We'll do some more because we're doing some DPS while we're going around. But really, we don't really need it right at the beginning. And I love the colors. The colors that they use. Across hey, who doesn't like red? Who doesn't like this color red? I mean, purple would be nice. The channel colors would be really nice to have this as a purple. There used to be a way I could swap weapon and roll. I can't remember how to do it now. Just to get... Oof. You're not allowed to open that, sir. You must become something greater. Fountain. That definitely doesn't seem like something Leave you want to do, mate. And accept my gift. That's not okay. He's gonna have a face this time. No, he's not gonna have a face. I thought we'd have a face. Mm. Oh, hello. Okay, let's aim, fire, aim, fire. Oh God, it just pulled me in. I didn't think he did that. Why did it just not dodge? So this is just your standard teaching you how to do like the fights early on. Dodging, heavy attacks, mechanics. It kind of makes it a li little bit better. Well, why can't I attack? Oh god, I, I should, probably shouldn't be... Oh, there's a fight in the end. He becomes... This, uh, this is a boss fight in one of the first dungeons, if I remember correctly. Like this was actually the first, like one of the first boss fights. So I seem to kind of remember some of these mechanics. He's about to do a charge, but I can't dodge for some reason because I was attacking. This, that's still a thing that shouldn't be a thing. Let's just drop a heal. Can I heal myself or not? I can't heal myself a second round or what? <laughs> You ain't gonna be able to do anything. Why is half the water blue? What are we doing? Go get a box, man. It's glowing and shining and shit and making shiny noises. Now 
guy looked really weird then. So, is it is there a difference now where it, you aren't afflicted with the? I forgot what the the eternum, the red. Now with something else, because we had our soul taken away. I'm fairly certain we had to fight back to get our soul back. Oh, we actually have the opposite power now. I just got sucked into the abyss for some reason. You have stolen what is mine. And now... You will join me. It's not a happy girl, man. No matter. You will be mine. You literally so failed hard, girl. Like, you failed miserably. Like, you tried with your full strength. And couldn't do shit. So let's see what happens. Normally, she takes your shit in the beginning. Like, I'm pretty sure, unless that changed some point between the time I quit and now, and it's not actually a completely new thing, but for me, it's completely new. This whole thing at the beginning is completely new. And even that person may might have been in it, but the story wasn't, like, anything really important. It kind of was just a way for you to unlock certain things. <laughs> There's people now. Like proper people. That's pretty fucking badass. <laughs> A strong man, are you? Death and back. And you still have your soul. You should be proud. Oh, I do love a bloody Scandinavian with a two-handed sword. What do you mean I should be proud? There's like 50 of us sitting here, man. <laughs> Let the air fill your lungs, friend. You have conquered death and been born again like new. What do you Your mean? small feet. You died. And it won't be the last time. But this is Eternum. No one gets away that easy. <laughs> I have to admit, I do look a little Board bit camp there. <laughs> it's my head on my head and stuff. Ball, of course. Like everyone else here. Hmm. Maybe you forget. Be a blow to your head killed you. Okay. Ah, but it will pass. Your soul is strong. That's what matters. Most aren't so lucky as we are. They are reborn as something else. The corrupted. Or worse. Ah, but come. We should not dwell on such dark. Ah, but you must be starving, friend. I always I probably won't go through all of the conversations. You must fill that only the really important ones. But it's kind of it cool that this is all like fully voiced and stuff now. Don't worry. Many boars roam wild just off the beach. They're a little on the skinny side, but juicy if you cook them right. Yes. And you will also want a skinning knife. Because, because you want a skinning knife. So it's and basically. Wood. And then join me at. Flint and Wood. Wunderbar. Look at that badass looking motherfucker right there. He's probably got skins. I don't even know if I have any. Do I have any skins or anything? A few tools, bags, no. Nope. I don't know if where the skins are, to be honest. I should have some. Uh, item claim. Okay, that's, that's, that's not okay to be like coming up like right there. Item claim. Uh, isn't tied to an achievement. Failed to claim item, okay. Whatever floats your boat. Unlocked items. Do we have any unlocked items? We don't. I do have 5,000 tokens, though. What kind of mounts do they have now? They got horses, dire wolves. Ooh, that's, that's pretty naughty looking. I do like those. I'm definitely going to have a wolf. I can't. Lions and that are cool. I'll have a bear or a wolf. It has to be a bear or a wolf. All right, let's grab that flint. Let's grab the flint around. The, you know, the, I don't know if you guys know this, but this game was originally supposed to be a survival game, like a PvP survival game. When it first came out, that's exactly what this was. 
And a lot of people didn't realize that when it came out as an MMO. They only released it to be an MMO like six months before the game was released. It was actually really... What the, oh, Jesus Christ on a bike. There's too many people around here. Come on. Let's kill you. Come it. Come it. I need to skin you, boar. Die. Okay. There's one. Whoop. Skin you. No equip knife. Shit. I forgot. I needed a knife and a bush. Let's go get some bushes. We need green wood. How much do we need? Skin and knife at Erda's campfire. Let's grab some more of this green wood. Like, this place is going to be absolutely empty really soon. Who's firing arrows at me? I, I wish could. Clicks. Tifa. Tifa McCloud. Okay. That's nice. Ooh, can we get into it? We can craft in there. This is like, I remember this as being the same as when I first started playing the game. It was, there was so many people. We need to equip the tool and yeah, star. All right, let's get the hell out of here. You can see everyone here is all fire staffs and swords and spears, and there's probably going to be some kind of meta. Storm will revealed. What, we get XP for that stuff now as well. You see these glowing items? You get pretty decent XP for unlocking those. Let's grab that can't because i've got a sickle let's kill this boar there we go don't you steal my shit there we go that, that used to happen a lot i don't know if they can actually do that dead game by the way look that this is why i don't like chat how do i get rid of chat can i get rid of chat how do i get rid of it come on there's got to be a way to get rid of it man enter chat uh let's just go to direct message only direct message only and that's it because there's going to be loads of stupid shit being said by loads of stupid people this is the european servers and that's what they're good at just talking shit can i steal him still oh tried to do what i said it was gonna do. it's not allowed right let's kill this dude how did that guy hit me with his ass get another one just in case void gauntlet xp but we do we do want to level up our healing stuff that's the most important because as soon as we get to the, that's annoying as soon as we get to the first dungeon how do we have so much rawhide they gave us 11 rawhide i don't remember giving that much we used to have to farm loads of crap let's speak to erda see what you have there a crude knife but made well enough thank you of course it's well crafted erda they were following my instruction I don't know if we're gonna like this guy, this girl. More likely a natural, this one. That's good, stranger. Now you will need wit and skill if you would not languish on Eterna. The Fair town enough. of Pride when up the road is mostly safe. But out here we are on our, we own. Are on our own. No. I've never been well suited to village life. But many here seek the refuge of a community to feel safe. They, they must yes, have. I just accidentally pressed the E button. Damn it. This island. But your mind is probably consumed with hunger right now, I suspect. Yes, those beasts trample everything in sight. You won't have to go far to find them. Okay, let's go and kill ourselves a boar, which I already thought we did earlier on. Uh, tab inventory, open up your reward. Let's open up. Double left click. We got some food now. Which was it? What? Why can't I equip an item slot? You cannot equip this in item slot. Why not? What's the button? Split, link a chat, actions. Why can't I equip the food, man? That used to be a thing. Was that just potions now? Kind of confused. So how do I? How do? How do I consume it then? Use? I can't even use it. Okay. Okay. We'll skip that part for now. Yeah, so this is going to... It's supposed to be has a much better single-player narrative. That's what this whole thing is about, to add to more... Which I never really understood. There's a lot of stuff added with the PvP areas and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, it's not just completely multiplayer, but there is definitely a focus on the single-player aspect of this. Which, again, I don't get. I don't get that stuff when it comes to uh, making MMOs more single-player-based, although it kind of, like is what it is we're gonna go into our focus because that's what we're gonna need a lot of it's gonna raise our power of everything uh life staff can get unlocked now we will probably only go and regenerate stamina 25 past while in sacred ground let's unlock this one first 
we'll go down the line there first and then we can because we're not going to be in a group for a little while and we don't get it from that so uh we're gonna go and craft like rations let's craft all six why the hell not thank you very much uh equip can we equip okay three and four lovely so we now have it there's a quick item slot we're gonna eat it and we can talk to elstrom i just run straight past them ah a successful hunt enter yes it smells like you cooked it just right if there is any left over give it here best not to uh, let it hunt and cook your own board lazy bastard if there's any food left you keep that for yourself newcomer Fair enough, thank you very much. Ah, Erta is teasing me, of course. Ah, I'm just taking a moment to recover my strength before wading back in to cut down the corrupted. See, I don't even know if this guy's talking shit anymore. During rebirth, their souls become claimed by evil. They are like demons, possessed only with the desire to spread their madness. Oh, ah. Why does it keep losing his voice? All you can do now is put your former crewmates to rest and hope they don't return. If you want to do the deed bug. yourself, I would understand. Keep your weapon at the ready. As long as you don't get overrun, you should be fine. So it's enough. So it's kind of really similar. They just changed the really, really early part of it. So we need to go into these wreckages. They're going to be some like notes and stuff we can grab around. Oh, we can look for some items. We did get another level. Let's assign the points in. We might put some points because I'm going to... I kind of... What I did originally was go heavy armored healer. But then I, when I was doing the like the arenas and stuff, I turned into a light armored healer and just dodged everything. Ran around dodging the entire world. But I don't know how it works right now. Let's get that guy gone. Thank you very much. Let's pick up this. Get out. I, I. He stole my supply cache. That mother. I don't mean we need to kill five of these guys. It would help if I could aim. Thank you very much. Uh, let's get another one. That is a big chest over here. This guy usually gives you armor pieces, and there'll be other ones that are weapons here at the beginning. This was the way for you to actually get. I think we were supposed to... Oh, we have to go back already. Just kill that dude. The giant swords look a bit buster swordish, to be fair. But this was the way. When you go through here, you'd get different weapons by doing different parts of the quest. At least as far back as I remember. So you'd run around and there'd be like a healing staff sitting on the side somewhere. And then there'll be like a... Um, uh, an axe somewhere. Or you'll pick up a spear from somewhere, etc, etc. What the hell was that? Looked like a bloody airstrike. That was cool though. Some people already look pretty damn badass with some of their things. And I literally, there's no one here that was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to play a healer. There's one there. There's one there. It's got pretty cool stuff and shit, to be honest. <laughs> See, Erta. See, I knew our friend here would prove worthy. Who better to tutor a new arrival in the ways of Eternum than us? True. Indeed, but know this, new blood. The island's lessons never end. Our lives persist, but time marches on. This new corruption spreads like fire. And as you can see, it is now at our doorstep. It's quite concerning. Must you be so grim? Ah. You'll scare off our new friend here. The I do like this, you, though. Do we not? I do like the back and forth between the people. In it's fact, a hell of a lot better. I heard pistol shots a few minutes ago. There may still be I don't know if it's going to be interesting enough not lost their souls. for you guys to just listen to the conversations, but I, I, I like to play through everything, so I'm going to be looking at it in that way. If we move fast, we can cover them all by the day's end. Stop being so thick-headed, Elstrom. Those ships will just be followed by more. Until you find the cause of the corruption, it will only get worse. Aha! Yes, we will spread out. You can search for survivors, my friend. As Erta reminds me, I must search for the source of this menace. 
I am sorry we cannot venture forth together. No, you're not. But while you search for survivors, I will find our next challenge. I will meet you back here. Fair enough. You know, maybe back here. I wonder if we can get like NP. Uh, that was something I did see that we can have NPCs go into dungeons with us now. So that he might be one of the people we actually. That's going to be cool as shit. I need to get to that point. Let's search for the survivors at the wreck of the Pride of Kreto. Is that, what's this over here? This, are these they're just boars? I'm going to collect their meat so they want to level up some things. But we do get bonuses to what we need. I need to make a sickle. I should have really done that at the beginning. So if we do find, because I need to level that up. That's really important. And you get quite a decent amount of XP for doing those things. So let's see if we can actually craft a sickle. Or craft all of them. Give me tools, right? Axe. We're going to get a sickle. I'm going to craft that. Lovely. We'll equip that tool. Uh, a skin and knife. We'll do a pick as well. And we'll get an axe just to have it there. Uh, equip tool. And log an axe. We'll craft one of those as well just to get those out of the way. So it is very survival-esque in the way that it actually works. So it's not like completely... There's loads of stuff there. Right, let's head off. It's not completely an MMO. There are survivalist liked mechanics. For me, it's much better than Once Human, for example. This game is definitely much, much better than Once Human. By a million miles, you... Once human is going to be an absolute mess eventually. So I, I would honestly, if you're more into the futuristic guns and shooting and stuff like that, then and, and the, that sort of thing, then yeah, you're going to want to play once human. But if you like... Our souls are bound. I am with you. I am within you. My fellow healer. Landmark charted, level two, pride of Kratos. Is there any boxes around here? Let's have a little look, see. Someone else did. Oh. Eat ledger, bastards. So, here I am. Ah. Fighting off the demon hordes. And I'm thinking, how the hell do I get <laughs> down from up here? <laughs> so, what do you say? Maybe give a girl a hand? Oh, she's talking to me. I thought she was just monologuing while kicking the shit out of people. Literally, I thought that was a thing, man. Let's get those gone. Let's get that one gone. And that one gone. There's mechanics later on. Like, if you've played this enough before, you'll Back get the mechanics. The you have my tanks. You have my tanks. This way. Come on. Thank you very much. Let's crack on our way through. Is there any boxes and stuff? Because I don't want to miss anything. What are you retreating for? Ah, uh, this when they when they retreat back, you can't damage them once they run away. What are you? Are you not? Oh no, you're just sitting there. Follow Grace O'Malley. Let's head back. Let's see if we can find where she's going. Little roly-poly amidst the chaos. Hello. Give me your XP. Thank you very much. We have two more to collect in this area. And I am i think you actually get a pretty big bonus if you do find all of them to complete the set. So we will be trying to do I always do well, that. Well now, can't tell you what a relief it was seeing someone who was still human. I was beginning to think I was all alone out here. The rest of the world had gone mad. Perfect. I was betting there'd be some kind of folk somewhere on this rock. Figured I'd go look for it after I'm done out here. I'm not about to go walking away from a whole fleet of fresh salvage. Not if I have a choice in the matter. This isn't my first shipwreck, you know. One thing I've learned. You have to always think ahead, keep an eye on the horizon. And there's booty to be had here. Countless treasures captain and crew had stashed on board. If you know where to look. Stealing all the stuff, man. Horse. Typical. Not like these rotters care a damn for it. And I'll be needing a new ship, a new crew. That takes coin. I don't think you're getting off here, love, to be honest. If you want to partner up, I'll split the loot 70-30. Or what the hell, 60-40 even. What do you say? Then we can go head to that campsite of yours. How about an even That's split? That's the spirit. It's a deal. Well, I easy. need to circle back to my own ship to grab what I can. But there's a wreck over there I haven't searched yet. Searched. My first mate went that way. But something happened to him. Don't let it happen to you. Get the ship's manifest, any valuables, and meet me on the other side. Fair enough. Let's just add our focus in there. I will put some HP in soon. I'm just going to get it up to 20 and then put some points in HP and I'll go 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. We already got that one. Yeah, we did. 
I haven't been equipping any of the armor we've been picking up, to be fair. Uh, cloth dress, not going to put that on. We did pick up a Warhammer, which uh, when I originally played this game, it was actually Warhammer light, uh, Warhammer healing stuff, the, the nature stuff. It was good to have a lot of CC. And I used to, so it was heavy armor, two-handed. What are you? Let's kill this dude. Uh, he got murdered, but I don't think that was anything we actually needed. Where right, we got that one. Collect your champagne. Astrolabe. Royal Candelabra. There's one up there. We'll head up the top. Black, why is there boars spawning on this ship, man? This is a bit weird. Let's grab that first one. There's some more boars there. We don't need to grab. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That was almost a return to Mario moment. Let's grab this last bit here. These guys are spawning in fast, but I just fucked up completely. Let's just head around, jump around, jump around. Get up your feet and jump around. We got one last bit over here to grab. Let's grab you the candelabra. Talk to Grace O'Malley. She just she got us to come in here with all these bloody men. Let's drop a healing thing down. We just exploded. We did get our life stuff leveled up there again. So let's drop another one. We'll do the heavy attacks soon. Heavy attacks now remove one debuff. Light attacks now heal for six percent. We'll do that one. We'll do that one for the moment. I don't know if a lot of the healing abilities are the same, and I don't know if the build's going to still be the same. I will have to have a further look into the actual. We're getting some lag going on at the moment. Yeah, lagging a lot. Holy crap! I'm like rather banding. I was starting to worry. More importantly, though, what did you find? Let's see here. Oh, yes. These are definitely worth a coin or two. Soon as we find a town, we'll sell them and split the profit. Unfortunately, I didn't have as much luck as you did. Those damn red eye rotters are swarming all over the wreckage of my ship. I worry it's bad luck leaving behind my own treasures, but I can't get through the bat. Now, there's a good mate. Tough one, too, if you're so confident. No complaints, though. Is she just literally Tell sending us what? into our death? If you can get my stuff back, I'll give you a greater share of our profits. 40, 60. Or what the hell? 30, 70. What do you say? Most of our cargo was lost at sea, and I got my captain's log on the way out. Born of me now is leaving behind my ship's flag and my lucky wheel. Get those, and then maybe we can meet at that campsite. Works for me. <laughs> I'm really hoping it's not going to be the same as it was in previous game, like the previous setup where it's just collect, bring back, collect, bring back, collect, bring back. I really hope it's not like that. Let's try and put this, put this on. So we have our white thing. Now that we look like the guy that had it on earlier. I'm lagging quite a bit for some reason. Not all the time, but. Like I'm just jittery. Grab that. We've got some cactus sage die with mana potions. It's good we still get the XP from helping kill stuff for our weapons at least. That's big glowy and red. War to you. Let's get rid of this guy. Get the ship's flag. Uh, Grace's personal flag and a lucky wheel. Oh, God damn it. I hate when it does that. It just it will let you walk away right before you do the full circle bit. But I am liking it. I think this is going to be more accessible for players that haven't played the game or want to come back to the game, especially since you can kind of pick what you want to play and it gives you more of a, uh, a direction, which is what was missing for a lot of people when the game first started. You're kind of just thrown into the world like a survival open world game. And while I love that, a lot of people I played with love that kind of thing. It wasn't for everyone. Like a lot of people really didn't like that at the beginning. It lost a lot of players because they didn't know what to do, where to go or how to do it. Um, the game was pretty running pretty well and then obviously there was the issue with the end game there was not a lot of stuff and it was a very like a login run a circle around the same area every single day fall in line and they realize something greater than them is at their doorstep why is that i wonder with corruption oh that was a bit of laggy jumpy laggy jumpy 
Let me know what you guys are thinking of the game so far. Do you like the changes at the beginning of it? Do, are you enjoying the way that it's going, the direction it's going? Are you playing it right now? Is it something that you're... I really don't like this jittery jumpy jump. Jump, 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 jump. And I don't even want to relog because if I relog, I won't get back in. That's going to suck. Right, let's complete this up. <laughs> You're back just in time. And you rescued a survivor too. Your legend grows by the hour. This Grace O'Malley has spirit. She does not like our refuge here. She called me primitive. Me, a former king. Yeah, he's true. Despite her personality, we could use her help against the enemy. I think I found what is causing all the corruption. I scouted the sea caves along the shoreline, and I saw many corrupted. Something evil is stirring in there. I can feel it. <laughs> As if the crimson clouds hovering over the area weren't a dead giveaway. I've told him for days that's where it was coming from. Yes, yes, I know. I told you I would check it out, and now I have. Some dark energy is definitely coming out of that place. Ah, see now. That is the spirit of a warrior. We will charge into battle together, my friend. <laughs> it's a shame your pirate companion refuses to join us. <clears throat> the poor girl's just survived a shipwreck. And you ask her to face death for a cause she doesn't even understand? She's I literally running care. around shooting the crap out of everything whilst enjoying herself. I don't understand. I suspect you will be wasting your breath. But it is yours to waste. I wonder if this is how we're going to start getting companions early. Long, my friend. I will await you at the entrance to the sea caves. But I cannot wait all day. Not when battle beckons. Love it. <laughs> If I did remember correctly, the, 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 there is... Oh, was that one there? That's a th one of them there. That's going to give us level six. We do team effort. Uh, we've got 31 there now. We'll stick some in constitution. We'll get to the first point. Because we do want some HP. I am going to put the helmet on. So we're just going to look all white and shit. Lovely jubbly. I'm as grateful as can be that you reclaim my flag and all. But don't ask me to go on a fool crusade against those red-eyed demons. I don't need a medal of valor. Just a coin for me, thank you very much. Your local friends say there's a town a bit up the road. I'll head there and sell this loot. I'll set your part aside until you get there. For my part, I'll be saving up for a ship to escape this hellish island. Well, I can give you a little bit of a spoiler there. Ugh, those two say there's some kind of storm while out there. But they say a lot of things, and I don't believe a word of it. Besides, Captain Grace O'Malley never met a storm she couldn't navigate. I'll find a way. You can come with me, if you like. Have it your way, hero. I just hope you don't end up as one of those monsters yourself. I won't. Don't worry about me burning you on the loot. You did me a favor, and I'm good for it. As long as you survive, that is. I'll be there. Okay, so I was just waiting for it to say something else because it said next, but it didn't say shit. So we need to join Elstrom. I, I, I'm sure I read somewhere. It's definitely... What is that? What is it that keeps popping up? This thing down there. The it's, it's, I'm guessing it's that I'm lagging. It was something different before. I'm hoping it's just because there's too many, a lot of people in this area and it's not my side. I'm pretty sure it's not my side. And it's probably definitely to do with the fact there's a million people firing things over there. And just standing there. Let me know what you think here. Exactly. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, remember to like if you are enjoying the content. And would just let me know if you'd like to see more New World Eternum. I really did enjoy this game previously. So I'm definitely looking forward to maybe trying a little bit more. Run through this main storyline. Get through to the end. Figure out a lot of things. Do some guides in between as I'm going along and checking things out. If it's something you're interested in. Gave it a try, at least. Your friend is no warrior. But perhaps she is like Urta. Smart. And that will help her survive. So you're saying I'm dumb, is what he's basically saying. We must be smart too. Now that I see the corrupted in the cavern, I realize Urta was right. This 
is something new. I've never seen corrupted in such numbers. And I fear they will attack our camp. I need to warn Urta. Okay, Th that's just an excuse, man. If something happens to her... This is like a big guy that's scared, pretending to be strong. She pokes fun at me sometimes, but I probably deserve it. I was looking forward to spilling corrupted blood with you. It's true. But I'd think now. I must go back. <laughs> I can't let you have all the fun without me. But I also can't go when Earth... This if you guy find talks so much shit, evil, man. <laughs> destroy it and get the hell out. That guy talks hella shit. He's just trying to get away. Right, I did relog real quick just to see if I can fix the lagging. That's changed from one. It, it, no, it's definitely not. Look, that's lagging like hell. It's definitely not my internet. But it's lagging Monday even shall more. Witness the power manifest. The true future of the human race. <laughs> Like there's, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. It's probably just because it is literally launched. There's a lot of people here. Um, let me try it one more time. Right, switched it over. Let's see if this one's any better. Maybe it. It's, I'm pretty sure it's literally because of all the stuff we got going on here. I don't know how many of these. We we'll search for the source of the corruption. Okay, this is gonna be where we go through that wall. I think we're gonna end up having to go through the wall. I would have really liked to have played this with Erica. Got her to play this. I think she might enjoy this. We can probably see if we can get her to come with us on the next episode. Let me know down below if that's something you'd like to see. Me getting my ass kicked by the misses. We're gonna have to go in and do this thing. There's one. Return to motion. Okay, so I did it anyway. Okay. <laughs> That was because we got to the end of the boss fight and we come in at the end of the boss fight and then where is it taking us outside there the lagging is getting a bit bloody much though so maybe if we get out of the beginning area we'll start to slow down a lot weapon chest we've got the filed great axe so we can still get the items that we need to try out different items but if you don't like what you start off with this person's got his hat turned off how do i do that you assault my followers. Uh, and now you change skin. Do I have? Plans. I do have some stuff here. This is personal. Fallen spirits horns. Okay. Let's try that. Let's see what it looks like. Chest wear. No, because I didn't. Uh, it's not white. I wanted to stick with the rest of the clothes. So let's have a look at some of these, actually. Let's have a quick look. Change skin. It kind of does look badass though. I got this one ages ago. Did we? Have, didn't I have a full set? Vine spun our our calcum. Live stuff. Let's apply some of these. Why not? Some of the old school ones. Chest wear. Let's apply that. Apply. Gloves. Leg wear. Can you do that one? Footwear. Do we have one for tools? No. Do I have one for magical weapons? I don't have one for this. I've got ice gauntlet. Can I change that? Or not? No. Okay. Well, we kind of look like a weird... Oh, God. That, was, that looked like it was going to hurt a little bit. We kind of look a little bit different. They're probably different because this is old as hell. Like, this is really old, this skin. It's one of the ones at the beginning of the game. It does it doesn't look like the character runs as good with it on actually. But it does look kinda nice though. Makes me look like a fallen warrior, but doesn't make me look like a healer. I might turn it off eventually, but I, I stuck it on there already for now. There's a flint hiding behind under there. I thought that was gonna be something that we needed. We do have a sickle and stuff, so there was Oh, someone probably picked up. There's loads of people here. Yeah, I think it's just in this area I start to lag way more. It takes more than courage to keep your soul on this island. Your friends using her wits. You should do the same. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's speak Did to Alstrom. You live? Ah! <laughs> I knew you had triumphed. Caesar, the corruption has even receded away from our camp. What did you find in the sea caves? Some kind of abomination? A corruption rift. I've heard tales of. And you shut the bastards down, did you? Ah, you are here a short time and already vanquishing the corrupted. A feat fit for legend. 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a victory, but we must recognize this is not going to be an isolated occurrence. Probably not. Yes. Ah, oh, I have seen this before, more than once. When corrupted come in such numbers, it is a portent for dark times. In the past, an avatar has risen and led the corrupted in a campaign to consume all of Eternum. No souls are safe from their reach. How do you know all this? If you had, it is unlikely you would be here. <laughs> but make no mistake, an avatar is coming, and we must warn the nearby towns. That would be for the best. There have been some misunderstandings between Elstrom and the town guard in the past. Besides, he likes it here. My friend, your valor is deserving of a reward. Follow the road to town, warn them, and then get a cup of mead at the tavern. <laughs> you earned it. Right, so I'm guessing that's going to be like the beginning of the thing. We'll head over to the town. And then we'll see what's going on. I, oh, God, it changed again. Let's go. Oh, can I turn it off? Enter the chat. Let's go to direct message only so I don't get all that shit popping up. It's annoying. Maybe I can turn it off. Come closer. It is time you know the whole truth. About what you say? What truth do I need to know? It was a banana tree. Oh, God, that's going to take too long. I don't even need trees right now. Maybe later on I do. This island has always guarded the promise of paradise. Humanity cast out, deemed unworthy of such blessings. But I did not come here seeking paradise. I came for answers. Redemption after a life of weakness and suffering. And I found a truth that is proved everything I had been taught. I tasted the knowledge forbidden to us at creation, and I saw the vision of humanity's true potential. I knew then, I must correct this ancient injustice and restore the power which is rightfully ours. The heart of the mountain now beat strong with this purpose. After a century of preparation, our campaign has begun. The island's townships already fall before the might of our armies. The only thing I had not foreseen is you. You, who have stolen the gift meant for me. And now your soul will pay the price. For I will not stop until I have seized back the destiny stolen from us and brought true freedom to the world, both old and new. That was pretty badass. That seems like it was almost similar to what was done before, but they have changed a lot of that. So I'm guessing the whole experience will be a lot different compared to uh, what it was previously. I'm still lagging a little bit. Still doing a little bit of lag. We'll head over to the main town. We'll see what's good from there. There's going to be these servers are going to be rampacked for a while, and it will cause some people to leave. It's always the way. They haven't opened that many servers, to be honest. Oh God, this wolf's going to do. I used to hate these wolves back in the day. Like when I first started, these guys are because they do bleeds. They do bleeds on you. Let's uh dodge out of the way of that. Dodging master, return to Moria. <laughs> Thought we had to do that. No, it didn't. It didn't at all. Let's get this one. Achievement unlocked. Even more valuable than before. Reach life staff mastery five. Lovely. Let's have a look. Life staff mastery five. And we got the splash of light. But we want. Where is it? Lights embrace. There's the beacon. We're gonna need this one as well. But I'm gonna do this one. A store health on heavy attacks. Do that one for now. 
let's head on down oh that's gonna do some damage this one's just a quest travel to program farm one town this is a side quest that you have to do did you see my cart huh? the wilds of eternum have never seen anything like this before today how should i know do i look like some kind of bore mind reader <laughs> not me i'm just a simple travel tell you this much however the beasts have ruined me for you mean you'd help old hapless how hapless <laughs> how why yes you're a saint take my sickle hunt up oh uh, gather any herbs or berries you see for yourself they've actually got everything even the side quests and shit have all got like a hell of a lot of uh let's let's get this guy can we get this black boar why wouldn't you let me do it there we go seven rawhide gather herbs there used to be uh like a boss boar here there used to be a boss ball here that would spawn and you could get some decent stuff for it. It was actually really hard to kill. Let's give a five of those. Give a herbs and stuff in the area. I haven't seen any. We're looking for blue plants. Which would be what we need to level up our... What's that up there? Is that herbs? These are herbs up here, I think. Yeah, they are. So we gather these herbs, which can help us with our cooking. Because we're going to need a lot of... Like, cooking is quite a big part of this and getting all the herbs and shit is actually really important. Let's grab the rest of these. There's some berries. And it's a good way, if you're grabbing all this stuff while you're going along, you can get back. When you get back to town, you don't have to do as many runs. So runs around from town to town is what I used to do when I used to go in here. We used to go to like town to town, go town, 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 and all the way through the run, gather all the resources, and then craft when you went to each town. So each town would have, say you'd have uh, one town you'd have in there that would be uh, a metal run. So one town to one other town would be a metal run. So when you get to the other one, you'll have all the metal in that town. You'll then go from to the next town, which might have all the wood or the stone or the food or stuff like that. It just depends what's more in that area along the route. You know, it's really fast ways of doing that. That ball's going to... He missed me, luckily, the first time. Come on. We're level 5. I don't even know what the max is. I think it's level 20. I think it's level 20 for your weapons. So we can actually get this up pretty fast, I would say. Right, that one's done. Let's talk to Hapless Hell. Got to level. We're going to go up to our constitution, up to the first one there. Come on, where's Hapless? Is he back that way? Where did he go? Did he go back to town already? He did already. He did go back to town. Get out of the way, Black Ball. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did. He's not on the map anymore, so yeah. I was hoping to find some to unlock the... We're, we're lagging again, like something crazy. There's some more herbs and stuff. Because these resources, like the herbs and stuff, I don't know... Let's see. No, they do disappear when someone grabs them. So you're going to have to be there at certain times to grab certain things. Let's just head over to town. The town's over there. We'll drop up the main quest. And see if they... Because I think it's like level 13 or something. You start to... You can pick your faction. I don't even know if that's going to be the same anymore, honestly. And there is night and day cycles in here as well. So you can actually end up running through the night time. And it can get really bloody dark really quickly. I still haven't seen any um, of the flax. I saw one earlier at the town, but the, I mean, that, at the town at the first thing. Oh. That was a nice little showing of what we have there. We've got hapless hell up here. Is this hapless hell? Welcome no? to Pridewen, traveler. The greatest kingdom on Eternum. Well, to be precise, it's a regency currently, but that will change. They got some personalities the beach, now, man. Uh, we've had disturbing reports, not just the self proclaimed king squatting down there, but something even worse. So it's true then. God's ears. Why must every day bring such foul tidings? Derelict knights, greedy farmers. Oh, it never ends. And now the corrupted, too. The worst part is that it's all happening on the eve of the most fortuitous occasion Pridewen's known in 400 years. Why, nothing less thrilling than the return of the true heir. Sir Gawain is coming home after centuries to finally claim the throne of High King Artorius. Okay, they just literally of course, however, Knight Regent <laughs> Jin Jay is officially still in charge of our Jin fair Jay. town. 
As a matter of fact, she'll want to hear your account from the... So that's King Arthur. Don't feel there you have to rush, of course. Welcoming those who've just washed ashore is a pride when tradition. Free room and board at the Regent's Rite. I just sent another newcomer from the beach that way. Shady sort. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like her. A sailor's tongue, all right. Probably someone you shouldn't consort with. Uh, appearances. So again, welcome to Pride when Check in at the inn, see the region. It, it, it just makes it more interesting to have these characters have actual personalities. Like, it really is. It really is. Let's just check in at the region scene. We'll talk to... to where's Hapless Howl? We'll get rid of these quests in. Yeah. Hapless Howl. My new friend right here. All the truffles. All the truffles I lost and then some. I, I love this guy. That sickle for your troubles. And if you make a habit of harvesting herbs and such, we'll cross paths again. We'll cross paths again. He sound. Why does everyone, when they try and do like an English accent in any of these kind of games, they literally sound like they're about to jump up a chimney and start cleaning it? Like it's literally like, oh, I'll clean the chimney, governor. I have a cup of tea. They always sound the bloody same. It's not it's not bad, I mean. What's this? Iron supply cart. We can't use that one yet because we're not part of anything. Why are those people running in exact coordination of each other? Did you see that shit? Okay, no, it was just it was just a thing. I thought it was a bot, man. <laughs> I thought, okay, that's a bot. No, the lag is pretty Welcome intense, to, to be honest. The Regents rise. Yes, Sleep registration. And wake up feeling yeah, like so when you die, now you've done this, you go in there and you... When you actually... What's this chair to sit down? When you die, you just spawn here. Or you can travel here, fast travel back to this location, etc, etc. Oh, she's inside. We'll go speed to her real quick and then finish the conversation there. Now there's a familiar face. About time you caught up. Oh, Here good. we find ourselves in a little village pulled straight from the Middle Ages. Is it me? Or does nothing on this island make any sense at all? No doubt. For a place where everyone gets eternal life, you'd think it'd be more calm, dull even. Not saying I'd like that, mind True. you. One thing that is the same, though, is cold, hard coin. You have it or you don't. Makes all the difference. We're both a little light in the pocket, but I did sell that loot we collected. So there's your share. Nine copper. Is that all you got me? Never let it be said. Grace O'Malley doesn't pay her debts. Bullshit. Well, you got that coin I just gave you, so I'd suggest you get to spending it. Buy yourself a new blade. Some new boots. What? Ah, yeah. There's a trading post out there. Which Livelier will be player run, by the way. Because you can't really... You check out the trade... Unless they change that. Unless they change that. That might be a thing now. No, it's gonna, these are player run, so players will sell everything, craft everything, and you can only buy and sell and craft. That guy looks hell of a lot better than me. That's kind of annoying. So that's all you'll basically have on this actual uh, thing itself. You, everything's player run. It's got a player economy. They're kind of like EVE Online kind of thing, but not as in-depth. But we do have that. And then we have the storage shed, which will be over here, which you literally just, you can post all your stuff in. You have to get cards that will raise your thing doing map quests. So when you do quests on the map, you'll get the Monarch's Bluff. So we've got two cards here. House ownership, you can own a house. We can own a house here, first time home buyers. Then you'll get these center quests. Standing gain was one of the things that I usually go for first. Excuse me, territory standing, because you'll get more and it will always be useful to have that. Gathering speed, territory standing, XP gain, pointless, to be perfectly honest, because you'll be going and getting through there really quickly. But the more standing you get, the more cards you get. So you have storage. The storage box, again, plus 25 is another big thing that I will always get. And that's going to be it for the first episode. We're going to be finishing up here. I would love to do a series on this on the channel if you guys would really like to see something like that let me know down below in the comments i'd love to be able to go through the entire game and find out what all the changes are and everything that's new to the game uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already for all of your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams